Welcome to my channel. And just know you are capable of doing difficult things. Your body is stronger than you think. We're on day two, you guys. Good morning, guys. Day two. Today is September the 12th. I'm starting my walk today. I think it's around 9 a.m. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do 10,000 steps today or 20. I'm just going to walk as much as I can and see how far I can get. So, talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. I'm at 10,000 steps. It took an hour and 15 minutes today, so I am shaving a little bit of time off of my walk time. So, 10,000 more steps to go. Say hi, Mia. Hi guys, hopefully you guys can hear me and I don't have to do a voiceover over this part, but I just completed the walk. I did 20,122 steps today and it took me, I was able to do it under three hours. The uh, Pacer app said I did it in like two hours and 58 minutes, so that's 13 minutes better than yesterday. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the other takeaway I have from today is that I noticed that around five mile is when I start to fall apart a little bit. Mile five is when I start to really reevaluate my life and what I'm doing. And it begins to get hard for me. My feet start to hurt a little bit. My calves get a little bit sore. But what I was thinking about today is, is that when I had that moment of where I wanted to quit, I told myself like, listen, you gotta do this. You have to push past the pain and do, you know, what is uncomfortable. Because for me, what I realize is that if I always do what I've always done, then I won't get to where I want to be, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to say is that you can't always do stuff that's comfortable. You have to get uncomfortable in order to change and to grow. And what I'm realizing that is this challenge for me is going to be way more mental than I had anticipated. I thought that it was just going to be you know strictly physical and I was gonna have to push through the physical pain of it but I don't think I really thought about how much it would challenge me mentally because once I got in my head that I could do it then my body just you know continued to walk because I essentially told it it could you know I think if you get in your head like oh my god I can't do it I can't do it then you won't do it but if you kind of tell yourself you can do it you will do it so that kind of got me excited. I'm excited about, you know, the changes my body's gonna make during this challenge. I'm more excited though about the changes that my brain's gonna make, like how my thinking is gonna change. Like yesterday I was literally dying. If you saw that video, you'll see, but today, you know, it's cooler. I'm not sweating as much. It didn't hurt as much as it did yesterday. I'm out here, you know, sitting on some rocks, you know, reflecting on my walk, listening to the water in the background. I'm doing some journaling and you know today was a way better day than yesterday so I said all that to say if you have a moment where you don't think you can do it that's when you need to give yourself a pep talk and realize that you can do anything you put your mind to so I'm gonna finish journaling and then I'm gonna go to Walmart to get some stuff so that I can meal prep so I'll talk to you guys later Okay, so I stopped at Walmart and I got a couple of things to meal prep for the next couple days. I picked up some rice cauliflower, some frozen chopped spinach, some frozen broccoli. Um, I got two of each and then I got some shrimp and I also picked up some salmon. Um, I'm planning on baking the um, salmon with a little bit of fresh herbs on top and then put the shrimp on at the last minute and then I'm going to serve those with the broccoli and the cauliflower. So I got four because I'm making four meals. For breakfast, I got some oatmeal. I just got this one by Quaker. And then I love my oatmeal with frozen blueberries and bananas on top.
I'm having oatmeal and iced coffee for breakfast. And then here's my snack. It's just a little green juice and an apple. And this is the salmon all prepped for the meal prep. I'm just gonna pop this in the oven and then add the shrimp like I said at the last minute. 